Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Dirt 4 on the GeForce CTX 1060 6GB for FPS monitoring, I'll be using Cam. If you want to download this software, there's a link down in the description. And if you want to purchase any of the parts featured in this build and support the channel, there are Amazon affiliate links down in the description too. So Dirt 4, I'll be doing 1080p, 1440p and 4K. To skip any of those sections of the video, check the description below. So first I'll be doing 1080p, targeting 60 frames per second. And it will be quite easy to get to that target. I'll just have to use the highest setting. But you'll see that sometimes it likes to drop below 60. To fix that, just lower shadows from ultra to high, and the game will be over 60 frames per second without an issue at all. It'll just be over 60 and it won't drop anytime soon. Then I'll do the same at 1440p and 4K. I'll show you a 60 frames per second configuration, and then just a 30 frames per second configuration by cranking up the settings. And I was kind of impressed that it ran at 4K 60 frames per second with some tweaks. The game still looks quite good and is very smooth, but I personally prefer to just play at 1440p if I had to choose, since we had less aliasing there, plus we can use quite high settings and get 60 frames per second, but yeah, and all those three resolutions, the 1060 can do just fine. Now I'm going to talk to you about the options menu and the testing methodology. So there are some things that I have to mention about how I tested the game. I always test uh, the same stage. On the whale stages there are usually a lot of trees and all that kind of stuff, a lot of grass and that gave me a lower frame rate due to the GPU. Once you choose the place that you want to play at, you can just, you can select the length of the race and also the complexity of the terrain. So I just cranked up complexity to the max and I randomly generated the stage. Then I saved the stage and played it on all the Dirt 4 videos I made. So yeah, this game has procedural generation of the stages. You just select one of the places that you want to play in, then you can select the length and the complexity of the terrain, and that will make a random stage. That's why I just made one that had a lot of trees pretty much all the time, so it was a good stress test for the GPU since there are a lot of alpha effects and all that stuff. There are more types of races that you can play at, which include opponents, but I didn't test that because it wasn't as intensive on the GPU, since the stages weren't as long. With the stages I selected, they were like 6 kilometers long, the game was always loading new stuff as I was getting closer and closer to the end and there were way more alpha effects due to the trees and all that kind of stuff, all the grass on the ground. Then you'll notice that on all my videos on Dirt 4 I used the G4560, that's because the G4560 was enough to get 60 frames per second, it's a cheap CPU and it can get the job done just fine. But on the other ones with opponents, the CPU usage can go up to 80% when you're at 80 frames per second. For example, on the 1060 at 1080p, on those stages I can get 80 frames per second and the G4560 just cranks up to 80% usage. Still enough to be over 60 frames per second, so don't worry. My objective here was to put all the stress on the GPU, since there weren't just long stages as the ones I tested with opponents at the same time. And on some stages, like on Sweden, you will spot that on the first 5 seconds you might have a terrible frame rate, and once you start moving and those 3-4 seconds go, the frame rate will just stabilize and work just fine. The same happens on the stages with opponents. At the first moment when you start, the game just has a quite a bad frame rate compared to what I show you, but once 3 to 5 seconds pass, it just stabilizes and runs just fine, but in my opinion Dirt Rally looks better for some reason. And now I'm going to tell you some stuff about the options menu so you know what to tweak to get the best performance. So the first thing that you should lower, the one that kills performance the most, is Shadows. By just lowering from Ultra to High, it's a huge boost in performance, so I recommend doing that first. Then turn off Advanced Ambient Occlusion, that's like a 10 FPS hit on most cases, it can be even more. Then Ambient Occlusion, if you lower that you can also get a decent boost in performance. And then we have an option at the bottom called Advanced Blending, that was also present on Dirt Rally. Here for some reason it's not as demanding as on Dirt Rally. What that option does pretty much is to blend the alpha textures, so when there are many trees or grass just overlapping each other, you have better definition on those alpha textures, it will just look better. It's similar to alpha to coverage on the Far Cry games, 
as far as I know. Correct me if I'm wrong, please. So in places with a lot of alpha textures, it can have a big impact in performance, but it's not as big of an impact as it was on Dirt Rally. After you play with those settings, if you want a couple extra frames, you can lower shader detail, trees, and big reflections. And then after that, there is not much that you can do to improve performance. The other options that I didn't mention, just lower them in groups. For example, I don't know, the terrain, the water, all that kind of stuff. If you want to lower them, just lower them in groups and you will get a decent boost in performance combined with lowering the settings that I mentioned in the video a second ago. And for the textures, I recommend using Ultra for cards with over 2GB of VRAM. If you have a 2GB card, just use High. On Ultra it works, but sometimes some textures are missing, they just don't load. So just stick to High if you have a 2GB video card and you'll be fine. Anyway guys, that's pretty much it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching and see you next time! Keep left of the rest, don't cut. 
right five, don't cut, 100. Bump up immediate, open hairpin right, keep in. Right six. Left six. Right five, left five over bumps. Care, crest, right one. Into left four. Right five, left four. And turn square left. Into left three. Right five. Left six. Over finish to stop. Okay, slow down for the marshals. That went really well. Great stage, good work. should be able to enter some higher profile events if we carry a good reputation. Five over bumps. Care, crest, right one. Into left four. Left six. Into open, hairpin left, keep in. 60 over crest, 80. Bump up the media to open, hairpin right, keep in. Right six. Left six. Into open, hairpin left, keep in, don't cut. 60 over crest, 100. Right four, into left one, bump on, exit, dip. Right five over bumps. Left five. 
right six, 60, bump up the media to open head in right, keep it, right six. Left six, into open head in left, keep in. 60 over crest. Left five, keep right over crest. Left six, and open head in right four, through dip. Into left four. Right three. Left two. Right two. Left three. Right four. Into open head in left long through dip. And right six. Keep left over crest. Right five. Right two. Don't cut. Left three. Right four. Into open head in left long through dip. And right six, keep left over crest, don't cut. Right five, don't cut, 100. Bump up the media to open head in right, keep in. Right six. Left six. Right five, left five over bumps. K, crest, right one. Into left four. Right five. Left four, and turn square left, into left three, right five, left six, over finish to stop, slow to the marshal please. Good work.